Hi, welcome to module three of Healthcare in Diverse Communities. We're going to go over chapters four and five, and they go pretty quick, so hold on. Now, major concepts of chapter four, some of this is going to look familiar, especially health disparity and diversity. However, cultural nuance basically does talk about some of the more subtle and minor differences between cultures and just being aware of them and open to them when they come up. And the idea of a linguistic competence, what it sounds like, being able to communicate with somebody in their native language or in a way where thoughts and emotions can be clearly communicated between the provider and the patient. Um, the last thing I really want to hit on is again, that last bullet of how culture, race, and ethnicity do greatly impact the provider-patient relationship. And that, again, it's while you want all patients to see you the same, the fact is they're not. And so when somebody comes in the clinic basically trying to put yourself in their shoes. Um, you know, maybe their family has a long distrust of the medical system or insurance, or uh, they think that it's just maybe a hustle to make a buck, where in fact, that's really not how you approach the relationship. So again, looking at it through their eyes and, and trying to basically meet them halfway. Um, now chapter five, Really, one it's basically a one-concept chapter is this continuum. So it goes all the way from um, the worst of cultural destructiveness to the best of cultural proficiency and trying to move your organization across that. Now, policies that seem helpful may actually be culturally destructive, uh, especially around you know what people have to wear or do or you know hours and visitation and things like that. So again, trying to meet your... Uh, your patients, your clients, um, where they're at, instead of trying to make them come where you're at. So looking at the module three assignments, um, assignment five is a pretty straightforward worksheet over a uh, the CDC report on health disparities. Don't be wrong, you're gonna have to look at that report very carefully, interpret the data, and again, report kind of what you found. Uh, assignment six is a very challenging assignment, looking for racism. Um, and so you're going to try to find out where there was racism or something done wrong in a culturally competent standpoint and how it could have been done right. Um, obviously, you'll be looking for your participation and the midterm paper is posted. It's about a month out, but still you should be looking at it and not putting it off to the last minute. Thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you soon.